Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's hashtag Ask Lauren. So here I am, again, on the white wall. We're going to answer a question that I got from Ashley Fisher on YouTube, and she wanted to know how I got involved in spiritual things like meditation, learning about the universe, affirmations, and advice for others who are interested in learning about these things. So where do I begin? Basically about two and a bit years ago, in February of 2013, I uh, went to a meditation retreat. It's called Peace by the Water Retreat, and it's actually one of my really good friends, aunts, who runs it. It's a very small group of eight to 12 women. So I had heard about it through my friend, and she had an amazing time. She kind of felt changed and enlightened and renewed and rejuvenated after she went, so I decided it would be good to go. And I invited Natalie and Lorena, who you've met before on my Lauren in Real Life vlogs. And the three of us went, and it was just a weekend thing, Friday, Saturday. And uh, for the first time ever, I meditated, and it was a guided meditation by Louise, who runs the retreat. And there was about 12 of us women seated in a big circle in, in her meditation room and she guided a meditation that was like through a forest and through a meadow and all these different interesting things and it was very visual and I had never actually sat for that amount of time quiet um, doing a meditation. I had always um, thought about meditating in the past and I would kind of try like I would sit in silence and close my eyes and put my hands on my lap and then my mind would just race and race and race and I'd get very frustrated and angry about myself for not knowing how to meditate and then after I left the retreat I did feel very changed and kind of enlightened and like I had seen the light and I had felt the light like I had felt the power of the universe and it was something that it's not like I had never felt the power of the universe before, but I guess I didn't really have a, a tangible way of knowing or articulating what it was I was ever feeling. When I was having, you know, when you have exciting moments or a moment of clarity or a moment of peacefulness or a moment of creativity, I feel like that's all that universal connection. But I didn't know how to define that. I just kind of knew what that felt like, but it happened very infrequently. And once I had experienced meditation, I thought, oh, I can feel that more frequently. I can feel that connection purposefully. I can actually sit down and and quiet my mind and get to a place where I feel a powerful connection within myself. And you, once you feel that and once you do that, you kind of get addicted to it. So that's what I really liked about meditation and I do suggest people try to do it. And I know it can be like, from, from talking to my friends, I know it can be kind of a scary, intimidating thing or that's the way people feel about it. Cause I've said this before, but people think you have to sit and meditate for hours and hours. But that first meditation that I did was probably only 15 minutes and you know, it didn't, it felt like a, an instant actually. So then that kind of started me on a more spiritual path. At that point, after going to the retreat, not only did I meditate at that retreat, but I also got um, Reiki healing, which I had never had before. And I had a session with like a medium. And a medium is somebody who, I guess, speaks to the spirit world and gives you messages. And so that weekend at the retreat, in February 2013, I received a lot of messages, a lot of things to remember, a lot of things to keep in mind, you know, emotional things, uh, mental blocks, things to work on. And then ever since then, I feel like I've been working on those things. And it's not like I was ever unaware of what, I, what my certain mental blocks were, but I didn't know what to do about it. You know, you can bury and bury and bury things and feelings and ignore things and trauma. Uh, but eventually it bubbles up to the surface and that will be expressed through anger or stress or anxiety or depression or any of these things. And so I felt like this was the best way for me to now manage, you know, these little blips that I had in, in my life where I kept noticing, you know, issues kept coming up and patterns kept coming up and I was now just connected and now becoming a lot more self-aware. You know, you become career obsessed and you kind of don't have an outlet in which to, I guess, release emotions. Like I used to do it through music just by, you know, listening to music in my headphones and kind of being able to like dance around or whatever in my room and write in a journal and I used to paint when I was a teenager and then, yeah, I just didn't really have a way of kind of getting that energy out. So. I think it just started to sort of bubble up and become 
a bit of a problem, like one, once I got into my 20s. Um, and I've told you this before, but because I became career obsessed, you kind of start disconnecting from who you really are because you're not really your job, you know? I am not a TV host, I am not whatever. I'm a, diff I'm a person and I'm a whole lot of things and I don't, you know, I started to become identified through my job as opposed to finding out who I really was. So that's what began the search. I mean, that was a really long story, but that's what began the search. And then in terms of learning just about the power of the universe and the law of attraction, um, I never, I had heard the word the law of attraction before. I had heard about the secret. Once I came around and started doing this work, um, started to understand the law of attraction in a different way without having to watch The Secret and realized that I had been practicing the law of attraction my whole life without having a way of defining it. I was always visualizing as a kid my future, like I've said before, but didn't know I was visualizing, didn't know I was setting at that intention and um, putting those things out there to then come back to me in terms of the law of attraction. So I basically just now in the last couple of years have come to read the books and watch the videos and like have a language to describe what it is I'm actually was already doing, you know? And so you're so lucky that you can just go on YouTube and literally type in the law of attraction and look it up. So for people who want to get into meditation, learning about the law of attraction, the magic and power of the universe. I mean, there's infinite amounts of books and resources online and that's just where I go every single day. I mean, I don't know any more than all of you out there. So we all have access to this information. You just have to be open and willing to learn and be open to different theories and whatever's gonna work for you is gonna resonate with you and you just have to kind of listen to your gut in terms of what do you like, what do you not like, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Uh, I really, I mean, I don't think there's any point in being a skeptic. I think you need to try everything and kind of learn everything to know what works for you. I've never been a religious person, so my, my attraction to kind of spiritual stuff was always there my whole life because I believed in something, but I didn't believe in, you know, the God from the Bible or anything like that, and I didn't grow up with any religion. So I was just attracted to more, yeah, like the power of, of the world, the power of the universe, the power of something bigger than me, but I didn't know what it was. And so I guess now I've just come to understand that it is me, you know, like we are universal energy, we are the same, we come from the earth, we come from nature. So I'm just trying to be in that headspace lately um, and understand that more and more. And every day I learn something and every day is a new adventure. And so if you want to get into it, literally just go online. And hopefully if you have no clue what I'm talking about, this has, at least has inspired you to Google something and start exploring your powers and your magic. And um, that's pretty much it. So thanks Ashley for the question. And if you guys have any more hashtag ask Lauren questions, leave them in the comments below. We do these every Friday and I'll see you on Sunday when I post my Lauren in real life vlog. Bye.